Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Hello. So today is a little day in the life vlog. We've actually been out and about this morning. I went to Windsor because I was auditioning for Legoland for Christmas and then we have driven to Henley on Thames because we both yes. have never been here. No. So we're going to have a little look around. Yeah, see what it's like. It looked really nice when we drove in. Uh, we drove over the bridge, over the river. And yeah, it looks like it's got some really cute cafes and cute shops. Um, also, there's a riverside walk as well that you can do. And I've heard there's a chocolate cafe, <laughs> which has definitely piqued my interest. And we actually we passed it as we're yeah. drawing. So we're just coming up to the river now. <gasps> oh, that's a lovely view. Pretty. Yeah, we've both never been here. No. So we thought we would spend a nice afternoon exploring. And the swans. <laughs> Martin loves the swans of Windsor. Yeah. <laughs> but this river runs right through the town. Um, and yeah, it's stunning. So they have some adventure golf here. I think it must be just behind that hedge. We do love a good mini golf. So behind us where we parked, there's actually a museum, the River and Rowing Museum. Um, so I'm guessing it's all about rivers and rowing. <laughs> um, but they also have Wind in the Willows. It said Wind in the Willows at the River and Rowing Museum. Yeah. So that sounds very sweet. So you can take river trips and you can also hire boats. They've got all the information here. So there's like loads of different boats that you can hire. They also have this amazing, kind of like old fashioned, a boat called the New Orleans and you can like hire it out for parties also it says there they do Christmas on board so we just found the higher price for that New Orleans boat so if you want it for the day on a Saturday and Sunday four hour four hour period oh is that it? yeah <gasps> 2700 I mean it is big yeah it fits a lot of people <laughs> it says on there that they do a Santa Cruz it reminds me of when I was younger, I went on a railway that had Santa in. Oh yeah? Yeah, and he would come like walk down the um, aisle and visit everyone. That was really magical. Hot chocolate. <laughs> they actually do, um, what's it called that film? Polar Express. Polar Express. They actually do Polar Express experiences. Yeah. I do enjoy looking at all the names of the boats. <laughs> Toad. Major effort. <laughs> Tillings. Tequila Sunrise. <laughs> Tequila Sunrise. Liquid Launch. Oh, that one's just Paula. <laughs> Is that what? Akuna Matassa. <laughs> so pretty round here. I love all the cobbled houses. Oh, it's going crazy. <laughs> and then we're just coming up here to the chocolate cafe. I don't know whether we're going to head in there or have a little walk around and then head back. But they've also got a little outside bit as well, so you can sit outside. So we've just come into the chocolate cafe. We couldn't resist the smell. <laughs> it smells so good in here. Yeah, all sorts of different flavour hot chocolates. We've both gone for the same though. Yeah. We've both gone with orange. We've got orange hot chocolates and a little rocky road. <laughs> So we just come out of the chocolate cafe. We had a lot of chocolate. <laughs> we did. <laughs> it was really, really good though. The hot chocolate was super yummy. Yeah. And the Rocky Road is really good as well. But that was a lot of chocolate. <laughs> Highly recommend. <laughs> and then we're just gonna head into the town this way. But this pub looks lovely. The Red Lion. The Red Lion. I was reading that Henley on Thames has actually been used in Midsummer Murders. Mm. So, can you tell me which episodes? <laughs> <laughs> also, there's been some famous residents. Uh, Dusty Springfield. We found a bear porium. Look at the window. I think they just sell cuddly bears. Cuddly toys. That's so cute. Look at the little mice. Mm -hmm. Winnie the Pooh 95th anniversary set. Little miniature ones. 
Willy Wonka. Baloo. <laughs> That's amazing. Just walked up here, got the town hall. So we've just stumbled across this very old school theatre. The Kenton Theatre. Kenton Theatre. They've got a few things showing. It's very small, but it's really sweet. They have a pantomime on. Is that this year? Jack and the Beanstalk. wrong with a fish finger sandwich. Oh yeah! <laughs> so back in the car we're gonna drive home now but we had a lovely afternoon in Henley. It was okay. really lovely. It was really nice to look around all the independent shops. I think we filmed a few um, that we popped into. I think my favourite though had to be... Or Bear Paw... what was it? Bear... <laughs> was it Bear? Poyum? Bear... Poor Ian. <laughs> it was so cute. Martin said he could imagine me working there. <laughs> the woman in there was so sweet as well, and she had a little dog, which yeah. was literally just sitting by her. Yeah. And uh, he was just greeting everyone as everyone came in. <laughs> it was a really sweet shop. If you are in Henley, it's definitely one to go in. And then, yeah, just had a little walk around, had some uh, fish finger sandwiches, which were lovely. And yeah, now we're going to head home because we're both quite tired, aren't we? Yeah, so we're gonna, a little bit tired. A little bit tired. So we're going to go home and have a chill <laughs> afternoon, but we'll carry on vlogging. So we'll see you at home. So it is a lot later. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark outside. We came back and I we decided, yeah, Helmer had a bit of a snooze and then we decided to catch up on the Great British Bake Off. So normally, You'll know this if you've watched the channel for a few years. We each pick a person. We do this with the dancing as well, mm -hmm. Strictly Come Dancing. We each pick, <laughs> the a, dancing. each pick a person and then we see which one of our choices gets the furthest. And we can't tell you who we've chosen because Helena's, Helena's just gone out. I thought they were going to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it's one of those things where like... It can all change because it was bread week, so... Yeah, people have got people their specific skills. <laughs> in-depth Great British Bake Off chat. <laughs> but we're trying to work out what to do next because we're both like not really, o'clock, really hungry. But I'm not hungry. <laughs> we we ate a lot. Well, we didn't eat a lot, but it was really filling. We had a lot of chocolate. Had a lot of chocolate and a lot of um, fish finger sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Huzzah! Leftover gusto from last night. And it was a portion that I left for Helena because Helena was at work late, so we're just going to share that. That's quite big though. I've managed to get two out of it. It's the three pasta cheese bake. pasta bake. <laughs> One of my favourites. I love that when you're like, what shall I eat, what shall I eat? And then you discover that you have leftovers. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Scrum diddly 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 umptious. Diddly umptious. So we had food and Helena's going to do some studying for the exercise to music course. I'm getting there. I'm <laughs> getting there. <laughs> it's been a bit manic the past um, couple of months, but I am so close now. Yeah. I've just got a couple of worksheets to submit, and then after that, I just need to lesson plan, film the um, that's PlayStation, <laughs> film the class, and then hopefully pass. I know. And then after that, I can start planning some online classes which oh. is very exciting i'm ho i mean i'm hoping that maybe by the end of the year mm. if not uh at the start of 2024 but i'm really excited oh you've done amazing yeah and it takes a lot as well it a lot does. To it. well if i had a little bit more time free yeah, time yeah fitting it in amongst everything yeah but i'm gonna do a little bit now yeah <laughs> so i was just gonna uh say that i've been playing a bit of playstation 
getting into gaming a little bit again. Although we haven't had a chance to play any more no. of Hogwarts Legacy. We were really enjoying that though, weren't we? Yeah. Um, but I've been playing a game called The Crew Motor Fest. And it's fantastic. It's been ages since I played a racing game. And the thing about this one as well is, even though it's a racing game, I find it quite <laughs> relaxing. It is. I've even watched it and it's been relaxing. Yeah, it's like the landscapes the of it, um, the scenery, because it's set in, set in Hawaii and stuff. And um, I don't know, I just find it really relaxing and enjoyable to play. Uh, get to drive some cool cars. Uh, but also, not just cars. Um, the other day, I didn't realise that it did different vehicles. So like, I was in a boat and then I was flying a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's motorbikes as well. So yeah, might just show you a little bit of that. So like with most games, you get to create your, uh, your avatar or your person. And uh, <laughs> this is my person. And the weird thing is, they're like, I've got these clothes. <laughs> so <laughs> I tried to make him like me. But it looks so strange, like this guy just rocking up next to all these uh, fancy cars. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's this bit where, so there's still all these different uh, playlists uh, that you go through. And they're different like styles of cars and different styles of track. So I've already completed the Hawaiian scenic tour playlist. There's me crashing into a lamppost. <laughs> um, so I'm now going off. I'm on the Japanese uh, car culture playlist next. So you work your way through those and then you've got like challenges. So I think for, well for the Hawaiian one, it was just that you had to finish the race, which is quite nice. You didn't have to be first or anything. And then in the Japanese one, so far it's been that you've got to rank third. I've had to have a few goes on that. <laughs> but I like this, yeah, you've got to just drive to your location first. I was trying to think back actually over some of the car games that I've played in the past that were some of my favourites. I mean Mario Kart's always like a, a massive favourite. But oh no, there's <laughs> some dodgy driving going on here. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a game called, I think it was for the Dreamcast, Crazy Taxi, where you had to drop people off in a time limit. That was one of my favourites. Uh, I think we had played the Colin McRae games on uh, the earlier Playstations, but I was absolutely useless at those. Ah! Simpsons Hit and Run. That was a, yeah. another strange game. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, I just remembered this is the one I tried last night and I failed. <laughs> so... I'm gonna have to try again. Got these different camera angles. One of my favourites is to like be behind the steering wheel, but then I'm a bit less accurate with taking corners. <laughs> but, ah! So I might have to have it like that. Oh! <laughs> these cars are a lot faster than the, the Hawaii playlist. One of the features I really enjoy is that if something goes wrong then you do have a chance to redo it over because there's this feature where you can rewind. So like if I did this corner wrong I could go back, I think it's 15 seconds? So this one's definitely a little bit more intense. <laughs> it. That didn't go to plan. <laughs> Didn't reach top three. Oh dear. The challenge is getting tougher. It seems you're having a bit of a hard time. Why don't we make things easier by decreasing the difficulty a bit? <laughs> it's funny though, because on the other playlist, it said it was too easy. So it bumped me up to the next one. But yeah, I'm going to have to go down. Because <laughs> I'm not one of them. I didn't win. Well, that certainly helped. <laughs> Number one, <laughs> I'm not ashamed to take the easier route. <laughs> so 
just finished playing a bit of the game there and just done some washing up but it's time to head to bed now got work tomorrow gotta be up nice and early <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us for the day and if you enjoyed this one hit the like button and also subscribe toodle pipski I'll be your light.